just in case I get nauseous. Oh gosh, you believe I'm filming this. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a story. <laughs> and actually, this did not happen long ago. It was actually very recent while I was traveling. I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet, but maybe some of you can relate to it. Honestly, the lesson of this is just to make light of every situation. And yes, I'm wearing the same exact thing as I did in my last video, but I don't care. So, I'm going to be telling you about the time that I went hiking and had a bit of an accident. <laughs> Ooh! I'm just going to forewarn you if my face gets red in this video, or if I laugh a lot, or if I smile a lot, or if I look like I'm about to cry. I promise I'm not going to cry because I didn't even cry when this happened, so and I was very proud of myself for that. So, recently I went to see my family in a different state. I'm not going to say like where, I'm not going to say names or anything like that. Okay? I wrote the story down because I'm that person like if something monumental happens, not that this is like a good monumental, then I will write it down so that I forever remember it. So I flew up Wednesday. I didn't get there till like late afternoon on Wednesday and I had eaten Chinese and I don't know if this had anything to do with it just because like the food sat in my stomach like over the flight and then I ate more. The next morning I got up and we went on a hike. I was with my cousin and then three of his friends with three people that I have never met before. <laughs> The hike was an hour away, so we drove an hour, I was fine, the whole car ride, it was fine. We get on the hike and we were hiking, to me that was a really long hike. I don't know if it was just because it was more vigorous than normal because there's a lot of rocks. It seemed a lot longer than it said it was going to be. About halfway up, I was like, oh I have to poop so bad, but like I was just making a joke out of it. But I did have to poop. I always have to poop on hikes. I don't know if it's just because I'm walking and it just gets your bowels moving. If you're really cringy and you can't stand hearing me say poop or talking about poop or anything like that, just click out of the video because that's all this video is going to be about. I told the story once like to my family that was up there. It was really funny. So that's kind of why I'm doing this because you can make a really gross and unfortunate situation into a very laughable, memorable moment. Or at least I can. I just try and make light of every situation. Like, I had to poop and I could tell that it was solid. I was like, it's fine. Like, I always have to poop when I hike, but normally I can hold it. Like it's never a big deal. But that was only halfway up. We got to the top and then we were going to like another top or something. It wasn't that far. I started feeling like really sick and like my stomach was hurting so bad and I felt like I was going to vomit. Like, I was getting really like lightheaded so I had my peppermint. I was just smelling my peppermint. Oh my goodness, peppermint is literally a lifesaver. If you get nauseous really easy, just take peppermint everywhere you go because it's amazing. And I felt better and then we went and sat on the top for a while and I'm out of shape too so it's not like I'm always hiking all that probably didn't help normally I'm fine and then on the way down it's when it really started coming I don't know if it's because we were going down and it was a lot harder like I feel like going down is a lot more hard work than going up going up is harder on your lungs I guess but like going down is harder on your legs if that makes sense to me at least I literally was like oh my gosh like I'm not even joking I have to poop so bad oh gosh we were probably like halfway down I had literally had to stop like every two two seconds because we were going so rough downhill that it was just like turning it in there. <laughs> they kept waiting on me and I was like, I felt so bad. It was like his friend's first impressions on me. I had never met them before, but they were really nice about the whole situation. So that made it better. Like probably if they were like really mean about it and like laughed at me, I probably wouldn't tell the story right now. I probably would have been crying. Since they handled it so well, it just made it such a better situation. It went from solid poop to diarrhea feeling. I would stop every two seconds because my butt was hurting so bad from like clenching. <laughs> my cheeks together like this is not made up i'm telling the true story my butt was so sore after the whole situation was done i literally felt like i had hemorrhoids because i had squeezed my cheeks so hard that's a side note i would stop like every two seconds because i felt like everything was just gonna blow out of me we were really close to the bottom i felt just the tiniest bit of scortage and i was on my period so i had a pad on just because i were both just in case especially since i was on a long hike and i was like oh it's fine like my pad caught it it's fine and we were close to the car so i didn't want to like get in and like smell like poop so i was like just go ahead just go ahead i need to just do something i was like don't worry i'm not pooping in the woods right now <laughs> so i was in the middle of the woods there's trees everywhere but there's no like big trees there's no bushes like it was very open so i just sat my stuff down and i like just yanked my pad out and rolled it up there was like barely anything it was just like a little pea 
sized amount of the D. We're just gonna call it the D because I don't want to say diary it like 70 times because I will be. Kind of cleaned myself up. I had a bottle of Twisted Peppermint Germex and I literally used half of that bottle like through the, the whole situation. Then I had it setting down by the tree and I was getting my stuff and like picking it up and I was gonna roll it up in like a leaf. Here comes a dog. No, no, no. This is like the worst. I didn't even care if I pooped myself at this point. This was the worst and most embarrassing part of the whole thing because I could hear the collar so I was like oh my gosh that means like a owner is coming my pad with the poop sitting on it was just sitting at the trunk of the tree and the dog went up and smelled it and I was like kind of like turning around like trying to like block it no the owner definitely saw it the dog smelled it like its nose was like right up at it I was like it's okay it's okay oh my gosh and then the owner was like come on let's go and he's like uh and then they went off and I was like oh my gosh that's literally the most embarrassing thing ever, but it's fine. So then I like wrap my pad up in a leaf and I litter and I feel so bad. Like I promise you, I feel so bad that I was not about to bring that with me. They could see the parking lot. It was so, like all downhill. So I was just like, I was dying. I literally couldn't clench my butt cheeks anymore. They were at the bottom. They were like, we can see the car, Allie, come on. And then I was like, oh my gosh, no, I can't do it anymore. No, I can't do it. And like, we didn't have anything with us. We didn't have, like everyone's nose was running and they didn't have any tissues and we didn't have anything like no wipes with us. He said, that he had paper towels in his car because he had a, a nosebleed that morning so that was literally like a god thing because if he wouldn't have had those paper towels it would have actually been the most awful thing ever i started yelling i was like please hurry up hurry he was going fast like going to get them but then i said hurry now <laughs> here comes the diarrhea <laughs> And the whole time, like, I was like, please, God, please don't have, please don't let me, point. like, I was literally praying the whole entire time. God just wanted me to have this story to tell. Then I started, like, screaming, and he started running. He runs back with the paper towels. It still wasn't, like, that much of the D. It was enough to, like, soak through. I had already taken my pad off. I was like, I wish I would have just kept it on if I knew that was coming, because that was nothing compared to it. So I felt it, and I was like, oh, my gosh. So I, like, had my shorts pulled up, because I have shorts that, like, have the underwear built in, but since I was on my period, I had underwear underwear and not underwear on so that was good he runs back with the paper towels and i have my shorts pulled down but like i have a long shirt on i had him pulled down enough to where <laughs> this sounds so nasty where the underwear wasn't like touching the shorts underwear and so that i could salvage that i had to take my shoes off take my pants off take my underwear off clean myself up bury my underwear bury my underwear in the woods under leaves and then i had to bury all the paper towels with it like i'm sorry i had to litter but no way was that coming with me and they were good area underwear too i was so upset oh i love those underwear i have my shorts on and i've rubbed twisted peppermint all over my butt <sighs> I'm like rubbing it everywhere. I'm like, I do not want to go in there and smell like, because we were pretty far away from like everything. So it's not like in two seconds we were going to be at a gas station where I could poop. I go and I had gathered myself and no one came luckily because I was literally butt naked in the woods. So I get to the car and I was like, memories guys right and then i like discreetly put a paper towel on the seat just because i didn't know i didn't have anything in my shorts but i just didn't want to risk it i had the paper towels like this and i was like i was walking back to the car like this and then i put the paper towels down i sit and then i turn around and like memories guys <laughs> i was like thank you i'm sorry thank you i like literally kept saying i'm sorry and i kept saying thank you because i just couldn't get over how nice they were about it so then we like went like 20 30 minutes to a gas station so i go into the bathroom luckily there's no one in there i was in there for like a solid 10 minutes and i took wet wipes with me i just like pulled my pants down just everything just like <sighs> it was like the flood waters out of my butthole i was in there cleaned myself up as much as i could washed my hands really good went to the car and i was like Oh, when I came back to the car, I was like, I just feel bad for whoever is going in there after me. And we played road trip games on the way home. So that was good. The second that I got home, I told my aunt, I was like, I have to shower now. And then after I had eaten, oh, it's fine. I can eat. But I'm pretty sure like my stomach was completely empty. So I probably shouldn't have eaten as much as I did. Later, I had the same feeling, but like I couldn't hold it because I'm telling you, my butthole was so weak from holding poop for so long. I was not exaggerating. I kept saying that like I whenever I would get the urge to poop like I could not hold it. <laughs> like I felt like a mom after you have babies. I went and I pooped again. I had really bad stomach pains so I was like moaning as I do whenever I have really bad stomach pains. And my aunt finally came out there and like unlocked the door and like then I threw up in a bucket. It actually ended up being like a sickness. Either a 24 hour bug or like because that like Chinese food sat in me. And then Friday all day I had to eat bland food. It was awful but it's fine. I love my I did it. I told the story to the world. Now, 
I have to edit this in here for a like third or fourth time. The lesson from this is always take wet wipes with you hiking, at least that, and make light of every situation. Don't let it consume your head and make you feel all sad and all that. It's so much easier just to like make light of it and have fun with it. We're all human. I am embarrassed at the same time since I threw up later it kind of made me feel better because like obviously there was something actually wrong with me. So yeah, there's how my last Thursday went. The hike was really pretty on the way up. On the way down was not as enjoyable. I really don't know how to end this video. I honestly hope that a lot of people watch this video because then they can realize if they're feeling like embarrassed about something, I pooped myself in the woods. So yeah, I really hope y'all did enjoy this video and if you are new to my channel because you found me from this very interesting, very funny, hopefully video, I really would love it if you subscribe down below. I promise I don't always talk about poop, but I'm pretty open so I will talk about anything embarrassing that happens to me basically. This is just the first interesting thing that's ever happened to me so I thought I'd make a story time out of it because I literally have no life. I really hope y'all enjoyed this story time and hopefully it entertained you. If it made you laugh at least once please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me especially since I just told the whole world that I pooped myself in the woods. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and listening and laughing hopefully. Bye!